Surprisingly, many cases of hypertension are first discovered by optometrists during routine eye exams. Chronically high blood pressure or hypertension is one of the most common diseases in the world. Roughly 50 million Americans and nearly 70% of all senior citizens suffer from abnormally high blood pressure. The eye is an incredibly unique organ. It's the only place in the body where one can inspect blood vessels without having to break the skin or do surgery. And for this reason, examining eyes provides a different and closer view of many blood and circulation related issues. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. Today, we're diving into a little different topic, a primary optometry, primary eye care topic of hypertension. But before we do, make sure to give a little tap on the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. So high blood pressure or hypertension can quietly damage the body for years before symptoms develop. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to disability, a poor quality of life, or even a deadly heart attack or stroke. And treatment and lifestyle changes can help control high blood pressure to reduce the risk of life-threatening complications. Now, high blood pressure is usually a chronic condition that gradually causes damage over years, but sometimes blood pressure rises so quickly and severely that it becomes a medical emergency requiring immediate treatment, often with hospitalization. In these situations, high blood pressure can cause blindness, chest pain, complications in pregnancy, so that would be like preeclampsia or eclampsia, can cause heart attacks, memory loss, personality changes, trouble concentrating, irritability, or a progressive loss of consciousness even. Can also cause severe damage to the body's main artery, which is aortic dissection, strokes, sudden impaired pumping of the heart, leading to fluid backup in the lungs, resulting in shortness of breath or pulmonary edema. Can cause sudden loss of kidney function, damage to the arteries. And so there are so many ways that elevated blood pressure can affect your body. And we can actually see many of those in the eyes. Now, healthy arteries, including those in the eyes, are flexible, strong, and elastic. They have a smooth inner lining so that blood is just flowing freely, supplying vital organs and tissues with nutrients and oxygen. But when you have high blood pressure, it gradually increases the pressure of blood flowing through the arteries. And it can cause damage or narrow arteries and aneurysm, many heart problems like coronary artery disease, you can have an enlarged left heart failure, damage to the brain, because the brain depends on a nourishing blood supply to work properly. So you can have a transient ischemic attack or TIA, people call these mini strokes. You can have a CVA stroke, cerebrovascular accident. You can have some dementia or cognitive impairment. And then we can have damage to the kidneys from high blood pressure because kidneys filter excess fluid and waste from the blood, a process that requires healthy blood vessels. So high blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in and leading to the kidneys. And in addition, having diabetes in addition to the high blood pressure can worsen the damage. Kidney problems caused by high blood pressure can be kidney scarring, kidney failure. There's many ways that blood pressure can affect the body, but how does it affect your eyes? What is the damage that can happen to your eyes? So high blood pressure can damage the tiny, delicate blood vessels that supply blood to the eyes, causing damage to the retina or retinopathy, damage to the blood vessels in the light sensitive tissue at the back of the eye, the retina can lead to bleeding within the eye, changes in the way the blood vessels interact with each other. In fact, that's often the most common first thing that we will see as eye doctors is arteriovenous, nicking, banking, changes in the way that the arteries and the veins interact with each other. But you can also have bleeding in the eye, blurred vision, loss of vision. And if you have diabetes in addition to high blood pressure, that really increases that risk of retinopathy in the back of the eye. You can also have fluid buildup under the retina, so choroidopathy. That can result in distorted vision or sometimes scarring that will impair the vision. High blood pressure can also affect the optic nerve in terms of nerve damage or optic neuropathy. If there's a blocked blood flow, it can damage the optic nerve leading to bleeding within the eye or vision loss. We can also just have hypertensive retinopathy. So when not treated, high blood pressure will cause more than just heart and kidney problems. It will eventually start affecting your 
vision and lead to eye disease. Hypertension can cause serious harm to the blood vessels in the retina, the back part of your eye responsible for focusing images. This eye condition is, it's called hypertensive retinopathy. It can have serious consequences when left untreated. There's not usually any symptoms of the condition until it's progressed a lot more, but later on with hypertensive retinopathy, you can have reduced vision, swelling in the back of the eye, bursting of a blood vessel, whether front or back of the eye. You can have double vision accompanied by headaches. And so if you're having high blood pressure, headaches, visual issues suddenly, it's very, very, very important to go see a healthcare provider, call 911, go to the hospital, because this signifies a pretty significant hypertensive potentially crisis. So aside from hypertensive retinopathy, high blood pressure can also result in choroidopathy or that's fluid buildup under the retina and the choroid. This eye condition can distort your vision and even cause scarring that harms your sight. Another eye problem that can occur due to high blood pressure is optic neuropathy or nerve damage. If you have restricted or blocked blood flow, that can cause damage to the optic nerve. In mild to moderate cases of hypertensive retinopathy, you usually don't have any symptoms at all. You may need to see your eye specialist more frequently if you have high blood pressure, however. Regular eye exams are an essential part of early detection and treatment of various eye conditions, but very systemic conditions as well, including hypertension and hypertensive retinopathy. Okay, as an optometrist, part of my workup each and every time is a blood pressure reading. And I can't tell you how many patients we have sent to the ER that we've set up with primary care doctors and that we have helped diagnose their hypertension and gotten them on treatment, hopefully saving their life or preventing them from having something like a stroke or heart attack or other issue. Eye doctors absolutely play a role here in picking up on these things. Many of our patients won't go to see primary care, but they can't see if they don't come and see us. And so as an eye doctor, this is something I am a major stickler about. We check blood pressure and we talk to our blood patients about blood pressure. Now, later on in hypertensive retinopathy, yes, you can have reduced vision, double vision, headaches, burst blood vessels. Certainly we can see those bleeding effects, but nine times out of 10, I'm checking blood pressure and I'm looking for minor changes in the appearance of the blood vessels in order to diagnose my patients with hypertensive retinopathy or hypertension. Your eye doctor is gonna use potentially some sort of imaging. You know, there's eye doctors that use screening images or OCT images, but they're also gonna use their good old fashioned slit lamp looking for hemorrhages, looking for changes in the way the vessels interact with each other and looking for hypertension. And if they tell you that your blood pressure is high, I know white coat syndrome is real, but I would urge you to go to your primary care and get it checked out. Because if we're seeing high blood pressure readings along with these vaccines, vascular changes, that is until proven wrong. I mean, that's high blood pressure to me and we wanna get you treated. So you may not realize you need to see an optometrist or eye care provider for an annual exam. I think most people get here to us after they turn 40 and have trouble up close, but I want you to hear it from me. We can diagnose cholesterol issues, hypertensive issues. I have had many, many, many patients that I've diagnosed hypertension and cholesterol and got them onto their primary care so they could be on treatment. And I think many of us have seen those billboards saying like, you know, some of you sitting in your car right now have diabetes and don't know it. And it's so true. There's a 1.3 billion people worldwide with hypertension, but only half of those people are aware of it or have been diagnosed. There are so many people out there unaware that they have high blood pressure because it has few warning signs or symptoms. And it's often called the silent killer because of this. It's not something, however, that usually develops very suddenly. It's often the result of many, many years of lifestyle and diet and physical activity or lack thereof, or smoking or alcohol consumption, but also we know that there can be a genetic component. And so it's just really incredibly important to see a primary care every year. I wanna advocate for that and also see an eye care provider. I don't care who, if you prefer ophthalmology, go to ophthalmology. If you prefer optometry, go to one, but let us look in the back of your eye because hypertensive changes, uh, we can really 
intervene sooner and help our patients more by doing that. Anyway, okay, so you can also do home testing kits. I think that's a great idea to do an automatic blood pressure cuff. The NHS only advises people to get their blood pressure checked every five years, although that might be yearly if a person is at greater risk of having high blood pressure. That's why it's so important as optometrists that we do blood pressure readings at every appointment because we can spot some signs even before a general practitioner might. When viewing inside the eye with a slit lamp, which is our specialized microscope, or taking a retinal photograph, there's many parts of the eye that can be seen, including the small blood vessels. And these small blood vessels are very sensitive to changes in blood pressure and may become damaged as a result of high blood pressure. And we can see that before it causes visual changes or fluid buildup in the choroid or bleeding in the retina. And if your optometrist asks you questions about your health during an exam, don't be surprised because we want to know if you have high blood pressure, if you've been to a primary care doctor, we're trying to better identify risk factors for certain eye conditions. Your eyes are connected to you. We need to know all of your medications, all of your allergies, and all of your health history because things that you wouldn't even expect to be connected to your eye health absolutely are. A regular eye exam doesn't replace a regular health checkup with your doctor, but it's often the first place that high blood pressure is picked up as patients are often symptom free. Optometrists may also be able to catch signs of other diseases too, like diabetes, which can also cause damage to the eyes. And if you've made it this far, I hope you found this channel and this video helpful. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you here so that you don't miss any new videos. That is going to be it for today's iSchool lesson. Class is dismissed.